You invest in high quality woodworking tools to improve the products that you make. You invest in PPE to protect your eyes, lungs and ears. But how many of you invest in looking after your tools and accessories? In this video, I'm going to show you why the Microjig blade clean system is an essential part of any workshop. The real superpower of this system is the convenience. I store it away in a drawer and pull it out when I need to quickly give my blades the tune up. Be honest, how many of you are more likely to throw out a saw blade before cleaning it? Blade cleaning? Nah. This microjig blade clean system will save you money and improve your cut quality at the same time. This jig is so quick and simple to use. I find myself using it probably once a month. And in that case, if you're like me and you're cleaning your saw blades regularly, you can have your blades cleaned in as little as 30 seconds. All it takes is 30 seconds in the solution, a quarter turn, half turn uh, against the abrasive pad, and then wiping dry and you're good to go. But in order to show you the true cleaning power of the Microjig Blade Clean system, I've enlisted the help of Dana Maid, who needs a little bit of help with his saw blades. Apparently, you can clean your saw blades. Who knew? The reason I didn't know is because in the past, I may or may not have hit a few nails and screws and killed my saw blade, before it actually got dirty, I would send it off to get sharpened and um, that bloke would clean it for me. But the new me is doing all the right things with his metal detector. However, the saw blade is very dirty after cutting all of this very gummy pine. Turns out I know a bloke who loves Cleaning saw blades. What other chances? <laughs> Just want to thank Dan in advance because I know he's going to do a great job. Please consider subscribing to the Timbercon YouTube channel. Over here, you'll see myself and other amazing Aussie YouTubers creating amazing content for you. Dana Mate has just dropped off these saw blades and some router blades. Let's have a look at what we're dealing with. Oh no. Oh no. I'll bring you in. Was he cutting a wheel of cheese? I would also appreciate it if you head over to my YouTube channel and sub up there. I appreciate any support. By the look of these blades, I can tell that they've had a hard life and I don't think they've ever been cleaned. This should be a great test of the system. The jig has ample space, meaning you can clean blades up to 300 mil. You start by pouring in a cleaning or degreasing solution into the container. In this case, I'm using Simple Green because it helps knock loose any dirt and grime off the blades. To clean your blades, all you need to do is fill the container to the line with the cleaning solution, drop the blade into the container and leave it to soak. How long? Will it depend on how long it's been since the last clean. For Dana's blades, I'm gonna leave them in there for about an hour or so.
Just be careful about letting your friends know that you have a simple, easy to use blade cleaning system. Hey guys. If you're looking to up your blade cleaning game, head over to timbercon.com.au and enter my discount code RIVCLEAN for a massive 10% off. Time to monetize this system and I need a little help from my marketing department. I'm the marketing department. If you're after something other than the micro jig blade clean system, please go to the Timbercon uh, website and enter Riv Wood for 5% off the entire range. But the fun doesn't stop there because the micro jig blade clean system also cleans your router bits. In the lid, there is a mini pot for your router bits. The foam holders will hold your router bits nice and secure in the cleaning solution at the same time that you're soaking your blades. Five shampoo bits. Who does this guy think he is? Five. Just look at these router bits. We know that putting a big chamfer on a piece makes Mark feel... How does it make Mark feel? It makes me feel good on the inside. But imagine how he's gonna feel when we get these router bits cleaned up like they're brand new. You may be thinking, but why clean the blades in the first place? You may have just last week cut a huge piece of uh, hardwood and you haven't cleaned your blades and you don't see why not. Well, this is why. Because when you uh, don't clean your blades, the blades end up with huge deposits of dirt and grime built up right on the cutting surface. That dirt and grime leads to a buildup of friction against the timber and a buildup of heat. And heat will dull your blade really quickly and you'll find that that bit that you're spending lots of money on isn't cutting so great a few months down the track. That's where the micro jig blade clean system comes in and saves you lots and lots of money. Just a note on router bits. 
it is really important to remove all of these bearings before putting them in the cleaning solution. A lot of these bearings contain grease and oils and those sort of things and it's really important not to remove them in the cleaning process. So that's what we're going to do. I do not want to confuse which bearings, which stoppers go with which bits. So I'm going to be really careful here. Speaking of dirt and buildup and friction, I've just removed the retaining screw or bolt from the washer of this bit and now the washer won't come out and when I rotate the bearing it feels very gritty inside here. It cannot be doing an effective job if this bearing isn't running smoothly. We are going to fix that. Wow. Wow. Thanks for watching.